Hinduism is a minority religion in the United States. The vast majority of American Hindus are immigrants from South Asia mainly India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, some from Bhutan, Maldives, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Myanmar, Indonesia mainly Bali and Java, the Caribbean mainly Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, and Jamaica, Fiji, Africa mainly Southern Africa and Eastern African, and Mauritius and other countries and their descendants. Additionally, the United States has a number of converts to Hinduism. There are also about 900 ethnic Cham people of Vietnam, living in America. 55% of whom are Hindus. They are one of the few remaining non-Indic Hindus in the world. While there were isolated sojourns by Hindus in the United States during the 19th century, Hindu presence in the United States was extremely limited until the passage of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. Currently, Hindu Americans hold the highest education levels among all religious communities in the United States. This is mostly due to strong U.S. immigration policies that favor educated and highly skilled migrants. Many concepts of Hinduism, such as karma, reincarnation and yoga, have entered into mainstream American vernacular. According to Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life survey of 2009, 24% of Americans believe in reincarnation, a core concept of Hinduism. Demographics The United States Department of State's Religious Freedom Report 2004 found some 1.5 million adherents of Hinduism, corresponding to 0.50% of the total population. The Hindu population of USA is the world's eighth largest, 10% of Asian Americans who together account for 5.8% of U.S. population, are followers of the Hindu faith. Although Hinduism is practiced mainly by immigrants from India, Guyana etc., a sizable amount of Hindus in United States were converts to Hinduism. According to the Pew Research Estimates, 9% of the Hindus in United States belong to a non-Asian ethnicity 4% of the Hindus in United States were white, 2% were black, 1% Latino. Latino and 2% mixed. Converts to Hinduism include Hollywood actress Julia Roberts, actor Russell Brand etc. <laughs> Contemporary status and public opinion American Hindus have the highest rates of educational attainment and highest rate of household income among all religious communities, and the lowest divorce rates. 48% of American Hindus hold a postgraduate degree. According to a study by the Pew Research Center's Forum on Religion and Public Life in 2012, 48% of American Hindus have a household income of $100,000 or more, and 70% make at least $75,000. According to the 2008 Pew Research, of all the America adults who said they were raised as Hindus, 80% continued to adhere to Hinduism which is the highest retention rate for any religion in America. Public opinion Hindus also have relatively highest acceptance towards homosexuality. 0.71% of the Hindus in United States believes that homosexuality should be accepted, which is higher than the general public, which is 62%. About 68% of the Hindus supported same sex marriage, while that of general public is only 53%. Hindus in United States also showed high support for abortion. About 68% of the Hindus supported abortion, about 69% of the Hindus supported strict laws and regulation for the protection of environment and nature. Religiosity According to the Pew Research statistics in 2014, 88% of the American Hindu believes in God, however, only 26% believes that religion is very important in their life. About 51% of the Hindus prays daily, though 88% of the Hindus believes in God, it is low compared to Evangelical Protestants, 99%, Catholics, 96%, Jehovah Witness, 99%, etc. History Anandibai Joshi is believed to be the first Hindu woman to set foot on American soil, arriving in New York in June 1883 at the age of 19. 
She graduated with an MD from the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania on the 11th of March 1886, becoming the first female of South Asian origin to graduate with a degree in Western medicine from the United States. Joshi returned to India in late 1886 but died within months of her return. One of the first major discussions of Hinduism in the United States was Swami Vivekananda's address to the World's Parliament of Religions in Chicago in 1893. He spent two years in the United States, and lectured in several cities including Detroit, Boston, and New York. In 1902 Swami Rama Tirtha visited the U.S. for about two years lecturing on the philosophy of Vedanta. In 1920 Paramahansa Yogananda was India's delegate at the International Congress of Religious Liberals held in Boston. Prior to 1965, Hindu immigration to the United States was minuscule and isolated, with fewer than 50,000 Indians immigrating before 1965. It is worth noting that although most of these immigrants were Punjabi Sikhs, they were incorrectly and derogatorily referred to as Hindu by many Americans, as well as in some official immigration documents. The Bellingham riots in Bellingham, Washington on September 5, 1907 epitomized the low tolerance in the USA for Indians and Hindus. In the 1923 case United States v. Bhagat Singh Thind, the Supreme Court ruled that Thind and other South Asians were not free white persons, according to a 1790 federal law that stated that only white immigrants could apply for naturalized citizenship. The Immigration Act of 1924 prohibited the immigration of Asians such as Middle Easterners and Indians. This further prevented Hindus from immigrating to the United States. Despite such events, some people, including professionals, stayed and worked until the Immigration and Nationality Services Act of 1965 was passed. This opened the doors to Hindu immigrants who wished to work and start families in the United States. It included Hindu preachers as well, who spread awareness of the religion among the people who had little or no contact with it. Also during the 1960s, Hindu teachers found resonance in the U.S. counter-culture, leading to the formation of a number of neo-Hindu movements such as the International Society for Krishna Consciousness founded by Swami Prabhupada. People involved in the counter-culture such as Ram Das, George Harrison, and Allen Ginsberg were influential in the spread of Hinduism in the United States. Ram Das was a Harvard professor known as Richard Alpert and after being fired from Harvard was receiving a lot of media coverage. He traveled to India and studied under Neem Karoli Baba and came back to the West as a Hindu teacher and changed his name to Ram Das which means servant of Rama, one of the Hindu gods. A student of Ram Das, Jeffrey Cagle, devoted his life to Hinduism in the 60s and is now making many CDs chanting the sacred mantras or spiritual verses. He has been very successful and is considered the rock star of yoga. George Harrison was a member of the Beatles which in its peak of popularity was receiving more media coverage than any other band in the world. He became a devotee of Swami Prabhupada who is the founder of ISKCON mentioned above. George Harrison started to record songs with the words, Hare Krishna, in the lyrics and was widely responsible for popularizing Hinduism in America with the younger generation of the time. Allen Ginsberg, the author of Howl, became a figure in the 60s that was also heavily involved with Hinduism and it was said that he chanted, Om, at the human being of 1967 for hours on end. Other influential Indians of a Hindu faith are Chinmoy and Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. A joint session of the United States Congress was opened with a prayer in Sanskrit with some Hindi and English added, read by Venkatachalapathi Samudrala, in September 2000, to honor the visit of Indian Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee. The historic gesture was an initiative by Ohio Congressman Sherrod Brown who requested the U.S. Congress House Chaplain to invite the Hindu priest from the Shiva Vishnu Hindu Temple in Parma, Ohio. Another Hindu prayer was read in the United States Senate on July 12, 2007, by Rajan Zed, a Hindu chaplain from Nevada. His prayer was interrupted by a couple and their daughter who claimed to be Christian patriots, which prompted a criticism of candidates in the upcoming presidential election for not criticizing the remarks. In October 2009, President Barack Obama lit a ceremonial Diwali lamp at the White House to symbolize victory of light over darkness. 92,323 exiled Bhutanese refugee have been resettled in USA since 2008 as per the date of February, 2017 and many more Bhutanese refugee are resettling in United States of America continuously. 
Hinduism is the major religion of Bhutanese refugees who resettle in USA. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hindu temples. The Vedanta Society was responsible for building some early temples in United States starting in 1906, but they were not formal temples. Earliest traditional mandir in the United States is Shiva Murugan Temple, Concord, CA known as Palanisami Temple, it is one of the few temples that is run by public by elected members. The Maha Vallabha Gunapati Devastanam owned by the Hindu Temple Society of North America in Flushing, New York City was consecrated on July 4, 1977. This temple recently underwent significant expansion and renovation. Today there are over 450 Hindu temples across the United States, spread across the country, with a majority of them situated on the East Coast centered around the New York region, which alone has over 135 temples, the next largest number being in Texas with 28 temples and Massachusetts with 27 temples. Other prominent temples include the Malibu Hindu Temple, built in 1981 and located in Calabasas, is owned and operated by the Hindu Hindu Temple Society of Southern California. The temple is near Malibu, California. Apart from these, Swaminarayan temples exist in several cities across the country with a sizable following. The oldest Hindu temple in Texas is the Sri Raseshwari Radha Rani Temple at Radha Madhav Dham, Austin. The temple, established by Jagadguru Sri Kripaluji Maharaj is one of the largest Hindu temple complexes in the Western Hemisphere, and the largest in North America. In Tampa, South Florida, Sri Vishnu Temple is established before about 160 years. Parashakti Temple in Pontiac, Michigan is a Tirtha Pitham in the West for goddess Shakti, referred to as the Great Divine Mother in Hinduism. The temple was envisioned by Dr. G. Krishna Kumar in a deep meditative kundalini experience of Adi Shakti. In 1994, Akshardham in Robbinsville, New Jersey is one of the largest stone Hindu temples in the United States. The Indian American Cultural Center opened on March 9, 2002, in Maryville, Northwest Indiana. It was in 2010 on June 18 that the temple was finalized and opened, the Bharatiya Temple of Northwest Indiana. This temple is adjacent to the cultural center. In the native way of Hinduism, one would never see different sectarian groups worship in one temple. The Bharatiya temple is unique in its own way by allowing different sectarian groups to worship together. The Bharatiya temple has four different Hindu groups as well as a Jain group. There are many Hindu temples in the United States, and too many to be listed. Politics In 2012, Tulsi Gabbard became the first ever Hindu to be elected to the U.S. Congress. She is a Hawaiian of Samoan descent, the daughter of a Roman Catholic and a Caucasian Hindu convert. Later, in 2016, two more Hindus were elected to Congress Raja Krishnamurthy and R. O. Khanna. Rohit Khanna. American Hindus are now the third largest religious group in Congress with three members. Among the lawmakers who declined to state their religious affiliations include Indian American Pramila Jayapal who has been elected for the first time to the House of Representatives. Her mother is a Hindu. Washington, D.C.-based Hindu American Foundation Hav, however, believes that Pramila Jayapal is a Hindu. In 2011, the first Hindu military chaplain program was launched. Army Captain Pratima Dharm became the first Hindu chaplain in the American military. Hinduism in United States territories Guam Hinduism is practiced by 0.1% of the population of Guam. U.S. Virgin Islands According to the 2000 census, there were more than 400 Hindus in the United States Virgin Islands, 0.4% of the population. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Puerto Rico. As of 2006, there were 3,482 Hindus in Puerto Rico, making up 0.09% of the population, according to Religious Intelligence. <inaudible> 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 
Topic: Controversy. Rajan Z prayer protest. Venkatachalapathi Samuldrala prayer controversy. California textbook controversy over Hindu history. Equals equals see also.